good morning happy tuesday finally a beautiful winter's morning really cold crisp big jacket day there's a lot going on at the moment even though we've just started this new year and when i was doing my morning practice this morning really tuning in and asking you know what's going on spoken to a lot of people who are having incredibly vivid dreams at the moment who are doing a lot of work on the astral during night we're waking up feeling exhausted and then we've got the whole 3d world while even though we are detached from it it's still going on around us it's already feeling quite exhausting for some people if we're not really managing our energy if we're not managing our physical body if we're not managing our emotional and spiritual body. So we are in the period of dark moon now. So you can't really see the moon in the sky. She's gonna be new in Capricorn, 20 degrees of Capricorn on Thursday. And I next speak to you again, so I'll talk to you a little bit more about the energy of that new moon then. But while this moon is dark, it is an ideal place just to be to sit with whatever needs releasing, to sit with whatever needs healing. We may advertently or inadvertently have what energies through from last year that need to be removed or it may be that you've really found that as we start the year things need to shift and change. This is a great time for really taking stock, for releasing. It's been heavy, it's been quite emotional that weekend when the moon was in Scorpio was quite deep, quite dark. A lot of things coming up for people either in the collective or personally as well so take the next few days if you can i know our lives are are busy but just to sit just to release to let anything go that we need to and when i was tuning in i was really asking you know what's what's going on why why is everything feeling topsy-turvy for me and the analogy given was to us is that we've got on the roller coaster this 2024. We've selected our seat, we've selected our carriage, we're really excited, we felt the ride pull off. And you know, we're going up that first big hill, ready to tip down or whatever roller coasters do. I'm not a fan, by the way. They make me really, really ill. I'm so boring at theme parks. Um, but we're kind of in, in, our, in our little car, we're kind of strapped in, we're ready to go, we're excited. We might be on our own because we want to have that experience. We might be with our soul family, we might be with our friends. And as we're going up, suddenly the car starts to move from side to side. And we're like, hang on, we're meant to be going forward. What's going on as we're moving side to side? And what I was being told is that as things arise in the collective, as energy, as darkness rises, it happens to be that there are legions of light on our pathway who are diverting off to go and deal with whatever matter has arisen so that we stay on track. And again, it comes back to distraction and discernment. Again, doesn't it? What are we reading? What are we filling our heads with? But it's really been shown that there is these detachments a military term who go off and do the work that they need to do whether it's clearing some dark energy breaking some programming really looking into some spells perhaps that have been cast and they're going to do that and as they're moving as these battles for a want of better word as these detachments go in to break through the darkness and bring through the light we're getting that little bit of buffeting so we're moving forward and moving really quickly forward but we are getting those side winds at the moment as that work is being done and we're really going to feel it over the next few weeks and me and many astrologers will be really banging on about this shift of plutonia pluto into aquarius aquarius the sign of the water mother aquarius ruled by urania or uranus she is a great star mother so pluto is moving into the sign of the great star mother and this is where we really begin to feel and notice the changes in energy so pluto and capricorn top down authority control those thumb screws are ever tightening it's going to be all sorts of stuff shall we say playing out in order to keep us small, keep us controlled, keep us within the program. Most of us have broken out of that programming, but let's just see what last pushes might come up, either personally or collectively. But as for the next two weeks, so Pluto is going to move in on the 20th 
as the sun moves into Aquaria as well. So it's going to be a really big push. So it's going to be a little bit rocky. You know, our roller coaster car is going to be a bit rocky at the moment. But what they were really saying is that, you know, we're moving forward, we're really going to see these glimpses of fifth dimensional communities arriving, fifth dimensional healthcare, the way that we do our justice, the way that we bank if we choose to bank, the way that we're going to live is going to really start coming through. And it's going to be in little collectives before it comes out to to the whole at the moment so it is a really interesting time to be on this planet and as pluto moves into aquarius as the energy starts to shift and change we are going to feel some real turbulence in the collective so if you have been feeling like that i hope that's given you a little bit of an explanation from that kind of astrological point of view but also from that ascension point of view there is a huge amount of work going on in the etheric at the moment to really clear and kind of almost raise the ground essentially there's lots of pockets of darkness that are being lifted up and um, we're really seeing this through earth changes as earth begins to change herself she's physically lifting the pockets of dark and then there's energetically lifting the pockets of dark as well however Life is what we choose to make of it. Where we put our attention is where our energy goes. It's when I have, when I've taught Reiki in the past, it's the first thing you were ever taught. You know, use your intention to send the energy to wherever it needs to go. So if your energy is focused on something, your intention is dragged into the darker side of what is going on at the moment, that's where your energy is going to go. So we are all master creators. We know what's going on astrologically. We can watch the movement of the planet. We can feel the ascension energies coming in and mixing those two energies. I really see a deep alchemical blend as we move into 2024 where we are really feeling the energies that are coming through for ascension and they are being directed and guided by the gold print of astrology. And we make it what we will we can look at the shadow side of pluto in aquarius which i've spoken about before which is technocracy control uh but we can whoa that's the camera going but we can also focus on what we really really want to create as well we can focus on who we are we can focus on the communities that we want to build as well camera moving was clearly either someone interfering or my uh, cue to wrap up so wherever you are in this dark moon today really rest allow yourself to heal bring forward the energies that you need to truly nourish your body really feel into what it feels like to live cyclically to live with the moon to live with the movements of the stars and the planets to integrate that ascension energy within the gold print i'm going to leave you with that thought of how we are going to create a beautiful alchemical blend of energies this year sending you all so much love and i'll see you on thursday take care